Now, I want to show you how to set the master and slave, okay? Are you, two units are identical. I use, just pick up this one to use it as a master, all right? To set the master, you push the menu button, give a long push, keep on pushing it until this comes up, all right? And you check it, you give the vote a quick push, Okay, now this is the master setting because it's zero, zero, zero. All right, if you want to change this one to slave, you just slave one, slave two, whatever. Remember, each slave unit must be unique. Okay, now I can, ex since, since I've already set it to master, zero, zero, zero is the master one. Okay, I can exit by pushing the menu. All right, now I set this one to slave. All right, give the menu a push and then set, set up, give a push. Now, this is all, also a master setting, which, I, which we don't want. We just make it a slave. Change this current button, all right? You can add any kind of number to it, all right? But each slave unit must have a unique identification number, all right? So I just take it out and that's it. Now. I showed you before, we put the master here, all right, and the slave to the slave. This is the slave, all right. And don't forget to put the termination at the end, at the last slave unit. Since we have two unit, uh, this is the slave unit and this is the master unit all right now let's see what happens after you set all the uh, this light is on it becomes a slave all right we have the actual setup with the two eco length cable joined together at this end and then to finally join up to electronic load we set the electronic load to 7 amp Okay, and now we switch on the power supply. Supplies. Remember, this is the master, this is the slave unit. And uh, the slave unit, all the controls doesn't really control, uh, do not really control the uh, slave. Notice the master power supply. Uh, you notice, also you notice this slave light is on. Okay, now once you Put the output on, on the master's power supply, you notice the slave power supply will follow closely to the master, okay? How accurately it follows the master really depends on how equal you make your power supply, uh, you make the connections. So both connections must be of equal uh, length, equal makeup, equal gauge. All right. Now, you notice how I change the voltage, and this will follow. Okay, a bit. Uh, this is will follow, and even you switch it off. It will come back again because it's being controlled by the master. Every button here, in fact, has no function. Okay, now you can set. Okay, if I give you a push, you see for 3644. No, this is it shows the original setting of this power supply, but it just doesn't control this power supply. All right. All the setting, all the current setting of the power supply is controlled by master, as you can see from here. If I drop the current, uh, in, right, we uh, increase the current. Okay. Now, notice that since we have two power supply, whatever appear here, two times two, the current, the voltage is the same because this is a parallel connections. All right. Okay, so this is uh, 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 
What you no, you drop down to, okay? So if I increase, decrease the voltage, you also follow, okay? But the current, the current, the M value, okay? Whatever you see here, you times two. So let's look at the uh, uh, seven M. All right, each power supply maximum give. 5M, right? So this is the total current here. Very lovely.